Hello everyone, my name is Sakshi and today we will see what is the push down optimization, why we are using push down optimization and what is the types. So in my previous video, we have seen the partitionings and the performance tuning, how we can improve our performance. So push down optimization is also help us to optimize or improve our performance. So let's understand. In push down optimization, you can push the transformation logic to the source or target database using push down optimization. The integration service translates the transformation logic into the SQL query and send the SQL query to the database. The source and target database execute the SQL query to process the transformation. So there are three types source side push down optimization target side push down optimization and full push down optimization so in source side optimization it execute the select statement based on the transformation logic for each transformation it can push to the database in target it perform or uh, uh, perform the insert delete or update operations into the target database and in full, uh, full push down optimization, you can configure full push down optimization when the source and target both connection is same. And it execute all the like insert, select, delete, update statement, everything for each database to which it pushes the transformation logic. This is in fu full push down optimization. You can even see. Um, in push down optimization, you can also parameterize it, parameterize it by using the push down configure in the mapping. So you might want to use source side, target side or the full push down optimization and different types. So for this purpose, we are using the push down configuration. So there are some limitations to the push down optimization source target and lookup database should be in the same relational database management system to use the full push down optimization and lookup transformation must be used the report error for the multiple matching policy so using any other option for multiple matches makes the pdo stop at lookup transformation source target at lookup database should be the same relational database to the uh, if you are uh, if you want to use the full push down optimization so let's understand each thing by using the mapping so this is our mapping i took my source as a database retailer table here we'll do some logic simple logic or short data i have here so we'll take the sorter transformation to sort our data I will sort the data on our ID. After that, we will take the router transformation or we can take the filter transformation also. We we'll give the condition there for output group so in my source there are 823 records so i want like retailer name whose name is maximum supports so we'll give the condition Now we will create the mapping tags here. So in mapping tags, we have the push down optimization option. So 
select the runtime by default the mapping name is came here automatically click on next so in runtime options there are multiple options available you can see here sql elt optimization option is there first it will extract the data it will load the data and then it will transfer the data so here you can see the types of the optimization none to source level to target level full and push down configure so we'll see one by one first we will see uh, we'll keep at as it is because uh, it will be easier to see the difference first we'll see, uh, run this mapping task So you can see here 823 records from the source and target it is loaded the 8 records. So check in the target. So you can see we have the retailer name of maximum sports 8 names. Okay. And source rows is 823. Now edit the mapping tasks. Here we will select the source. We will check what output we will get. So you can see records loaded, 8 records are loaded but here you can see the source it is showing 8 records but in previous session it was showing 823 right. So what happened when you select this source or when you enable the uh, push down optimization as a source then all the transformation it is pushing to the source side that you do the transformation uh, in the SQL and give me the only those records okay so in this way you will get the result we'll check in the session log so it will uh, generate the SQL query let me show you So you can see here the select statement where it took the where condition on maximum sports and also order by for, for this order transformation. So it's pushing all the logic to the source level. Now we'll, uh, target level is uh, also same there is not much difference you can check. Now we'll try for the full push or uh, push down optimization. So in full uh, push down optimization you can see these properties enable push down optimization context type. So there are none ST type to merge and multi insert you can use here as per your scenario or as per your requirement. One more option is enable fallback options. Means what? There are three options partial SQL ELT, non SQL ELT and fail tags. 
if it is failed then what you want still you want to run it partially no sql elt or you want to fail that task so you can uh, select this option as per the requirement so you can see here in full um, when you select the full optimization it will perform all the operation like insert filter sorter everything at the sql side okay so it is not showing us source let me check in target so eight record is loaded so when you want to check source also here in mapping if you select the target as a, if you enable disable this target and low then you are able to see that source So you can see it is showing your source now so in this way you can perform the uh, full optimization now we'll uh, select the option push down configuration by using the parameterization how we can achieve So here we have to select the push down configure and parameter file location we have to provide here. So we will download the parameter file template. So this is default is nothing but it is your project name, folder name and this is your mapping task name. So here we will define the parameter. In file. Where you can define for the source level, target level, full push down optimization. For now I will do for the source level. save this and we will define parameter file here directory and name in parameter file so save this mapping So let me run this mapping, mapping task here. So whenever you want to run the different times your mapping with the different times then you can use the push down optimization, parameter push down optimization. So you can see here the 8 um, affected row is there mapping is executed successfully. So in this way 
you can use the push down optimization in informatica cloud if you feel this information and the video is very informative then please like comment subscribe and share my channel as much as thank you